Three, two, one. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Arkham Robotnik and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a PC footage test. And what game we are going to be using for this is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure for the Arcade on Fightcade, an arcade emulator. Basically MAME, but, or M-A-M-E if you really want to get technical. Which is basically an arcade emulator which allows you to use specific games. And today we're doing JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, an epic fighting game. They believe does not get enough recognition because it's just a great game based on a great anime. Well, manga series, technically. But anyway, let's get this over with you. We are going to be using Dio Brando for our first match. And we are fighting young Joseph from Part 2. And he is the best Joe Star, too. Joseph is best JoJo. Second best is Jotaro. Let's see, come on, I got this. Come on. Oh, I'd also like to kind of get this fact out of the way. The guy who's voicing Dio in this game also does the voice for Jin in the Tekken franchise, which I need to get to that someday. Don't, which, don't worry, I'll get to that someday. Especially when Tekken 7 hits. Because I'm actually considering entering that for Evo this year. Let's see, let's turn that down a little bit. Let's see, come on. Let's see, let's go ahead and kind of build up my meter a little bit before I go. Let's see, let's build up the meter a little bit, so that way I can try to do... Let's see, now we're gonna, let's just let him flat out win this match, because that way I want to build up my meter, so that way I can show you guys one of the best combos in the game. Come on! On the drive! Let's see, there we go. Yeah, buddy, I let you win that one, definitely. Because I need to build up my meter. I mean, that's not me pulling a DSP. I'm actually wanting to build up my meter, because I need to do it for this e epic combo. Let's see, I think we're at the amount I need right now. So, what? Uh, oh, damn it. So, what? That's good. Roll the roll up, bitch! Ha <laughs> Oh no! And we can't read this because we have the Japanese version for it. If you're wondering what that's supposed to say, it says Dio decided to, has decided to end his 100 year feud against the Joe Star family. Let's see, who is he going to pick now? Ah, new Kakioin. I wonder if, he is, if he's just basically a moveset clone of just regular Kakioin. No, it's just like the anime. Because I will be the victor. Oh, damn it. Oh my god, I think I got an idea. I'm gonna, I think I know what I'm going to try to do. I got an idea. Let's see, make sure I can build up my meter for it, though. Thank you, and it's probably one of the best teams in the game, come to think about it, but Paul Nareff has the best. Yeah, it's pretty much the same super, really. I mean, it looks like one of them, at least. I could be wrong. If anyone outright names New Kakioin or has any information on it, can you let me know in the comments, please? That would be much appreciated. Ah, nice combo, man. I'm a little splash you! Well, yeah, this game is pretty damn good. I mean, this is pretty much why I actually got Fightcade. I also have Super Turbo on here. Oh, I won. God damn it. I was trying to stop time and then do, like, a, like, do the world's charging punch. 
But then again, I think I would have to do that on the Clock Tower stage. So it would be just like the anime. Where Cal Cacuan was defeated. Oh, he's picking Rubber Soul. Do you understand? Yes, I do, and I understand that you are gonna be the You are gonna be the one getting your ass kicked. Let's rock. And so far, I'm the one getting my ass kicked. But not for long. Rubber Soul Seam kinda sucks, I'm gonna be honest. Rubber Soul Seam in this game is terrible. <laughs> He's kind of mad. This guy is where Rubber Soul has a counter attack, right? Oh well. Let's come on. Come on, let's move. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's actually. Do you understand? Ah, that kind of sucks. I was hoping for. Do you understand? Fairly, I'm gonna be honest and say that's actually fairly decent English for the most part. I mean, not the best, but it, it's okay. I've heard worse. Like, Zawanto! But Zawanto sounds kind of badass in its own way, too. I mean, I'd rather have it as Zawanto, because hearing it in perfect English, like in the old 1993 OVA, well, granted, that's just because the voice acting was flat out horrible in that case. The, and even the Japanese version sucks, too. It's not even a case of dumb versus sub. They're both equally bad. Let's see, I decided to throw that round so that way I can build up my meter. Let's get a little excessive for this battle. Ah, damn it. Oh, damn, he's kicking my ass. Let's see, I might want to weaken him with a quick tandem. Oh, nice one, man. Oh, pretty good. Uh, oh, I like how he has the beetle in the mouth, like in the anime or manga, actually. We're like... Oh, you pretty much know it's not the actual Kakyoin where you just see him, like, beat up that dude. They, like, stole the wall and then he just starts eating the bugs and shit. Let's see, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go Iggy on this match. Oh, it's a sure where Iggy fought Pet Shop. Oh, nobody is able to pick Pet Shop in this game. Why? Pet Shop is pretty much the broken character. He's pretty much this game's equivalent to Meta Knight. I'll pretty much link a video, in the, I'll pretty much put an annotation, because Pet Shop has like a crazy ass infinite combo, and like almost all his moves have pretty much next to no recovery, pretty much meaning that he can effectively spam them. I mean, I get Pet Shop was pretty powerful in the manga, where Iggy only barely survived fighting him. In fact, Iggy knew it would have killed, been killed if it wasn't for the boy he saved. Because the boy was able to save Iggy from dying from his wounds and take him to a speed wagon doctor, if I remember correctly. Ah, damn it. Let's see. I got an idea what I'm gonna try to do here. Let's see, let's summon out the fool. Yeah, this guy seems to know how to use Rubber Soul pretty well, honestly. I thought Rubber Soul is kind of a garbage character in this game. Pretty much in this game, Iggy's kind of the Blanca. Let's see, come on. Except he also has a signature attack from a traditional Street Fighter main. Oh, damn it. Come on, please be in range! Ah, oh, damn it. But yeah, this game is a pretty damn good soundtrack, I feel, for Capcom. This is probably one of Capcom's more underrated games, truth be told. I mean, I, I mean, I'm aware that there was an HD version, but it's currently as a mouthy list. In fact, I actually had no idea it even existed until this, until last year, actually. Like, when I was starting to get into JoJo. 
And if you're wondering how I got into it, it was because of Joel from Vine Sauce. And my friend Evan. We're my we were playing like I think we were playing uh, Saturday Night Slam Masters and there's just some dude that he felt looked like Dio. And he was just going on like Muda 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 I'm like looked at him like, dude, what the hell are you even talking about? It's like, oh, there's a series called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure that you gotta check out. Then the rest is history. I will explain it a bit better in detail, but since I'm playing fighting games, I gotta focus more on the fighting. Let's see, I'm going back to. What? I'm gonna go. Let's say we go mid look for this match, actually. Who you never even see her face, actually. Like. She gets knocked out way before they even see what Midler even looks like. They fought her stand. It was like Capcom was like, hey, Araki, we want to use Midler. Can you redesign her? And then we got this belly dancer version. She's pretty fun to play as, though. I personally feel. And yes, that was a car she just summoned out. This game kind of lives up to its name. Let's see, come on. Let's see, someone else hype. Ah, oh, damn it, no! Damn it! Come on! Let's see, there we go. Feel the wrath of my cars! God damn it. Come on, High Priestess! Let's make mincemeat out of him. That wasn't like Rubber Soul next to like Invincible. And I don't even think he really fought that much in the Kaki when these guys really. Yellow Temperance pretty much did the fighting. It's like if it sticks to you, you gotta like. You have to wash it off pretty much if I remember right. It's. I'm kind of a bit fuzzy on that specific fight because it, it was. No. That's because I feel like the Egypt Dark kind of had a lot more memorable bits, like the battle against Daniel J. Darby. We're like, Jodo, I had to win by bluffing the entire poker game. Oh, shit, I'm almost about to win. God damn it. Eh, almost had it. Oh, well, we'll get him next time. Well, I can imagine DSP attempting to play this and someone pulling off Dio's infamous time stop combo. What? He dropped the steamroller? Now he's through. He stopped time through multiple decks and dropped the steamroller on me? Fuck this! Oh, speaking of our good friend DSP, Bastard managed to get fired from me. From Machinima yesterday. So yeah, I would say the beginning of the end of DSP is near. It's kind of goes for a celebratory song from a classic claymation video game. Well, not exactly. I would call it more of a cult classic, technically, but you get the drift. It's also one of my earlier Let's Plays. If you wonder how I feel about it currently, eh, it's an okay Let's Play I made. This is still when I was kind of getting used to the new format all the time. Oh, well, if anyone's wanting to fall do something like All Star Battle in the future, that's a possibility. But that's just an, a major one game. Oh damn it! That was a close one. Let's see. Come on, let's kick his ass. Come on, buddy. Okay, I, that's kind of something I need to stop falling for, I guess. Okay, how do you fall for the road roller? Oh, damn, it was the killing blow. And now he's back up. 
Oh, I dropped the steamroller in the guy's head. Oh, man, he's like, eh, just wants a scratch. That's eh, just a flesh wound. Then they get, then they get, then they get a fighting rubber soul. Rubber soul is pretty much next to invincible. You have to like use, you have to have a huge surplus of water to wash the damn thing off. Okay, I got an idea. Oh, damn it! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, damn it. Let's say I'm gonna do one more battle against this guy. Whether or not I win or lose, it don't matter if I'll fight him again or not. It's just one more battle. Then we'll fight someone else. This is pretty much a test of recording PC footage more than anything. Let's see, come on. Do you understand anything, Rubber Soul? Yes, you do. You understand that my fist won't be going in your face. Break your face, that is. God damn. This dude's just. This dude's just kicking my ass. I've never actually seen Rubber Soul used like this before. Dude. It's actually kind of impressive, honestly, to me. Because I kind of viewed Rubber Soul as one of the probably one of the crappier characters in the entire game to play as. It just kind of shows that I'm kind of wrong. I hope he doesn't eat Raro 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 taunt where he legitimately has that the infamous cherry lick as his taunt. We were like, probably like wondering that what I'm even talking about, so I'll put an annotation here as well. No, so we have like three pallet swaps of khaki on technically though. So this is kinda of going like straight up Mortal Kombat territory. No, at least they, at least this guy has different moves to kinda of justify it. Then they also have Anubis Paul the ref, but then it, he has a completely different moveset though. Because that's when he's possessed by Anubis. He's so far so good. Come on, I just need to build up my meter just enough. Oh, almost had it where I could stop time. Come on, come on, get out of that, get out of there. Alright, damn it, damn it, come on, come on, come on, get out, get out, get out. Now wait. There we go, yes! There we go! Suck my dick! That was a good match, though, good man. Let's see, I don't feel like doing another match. I'm gonna do another guy. See you later, man. Good game, mate. Let's see, and we'll go ahead and battle one more guy. Because I'm just only doing this to test out the PC footage. Let's see, okay. Let's see, we're going deal. Let's full screen this real quick. Toggle my full screen mode. There we go. That way we don't have the glitchy bar. Because this was clearly designed for like Windows things, but I have the Mac. But they also have a Mac version. But they didn't optimize the tool, the uh, little settings bar for Mac, so that you have the little glitch. So hence the top bar kind of glitches as a slight result, where normally you would have your options. Then it looks like it was design like designed with an old Windows interface too. Let's see, ah, it's Abdol. Let's see, come on, steady. Oh, 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 oh,
bitch. Oh, did it? You gotta be kidding me. Did he rage quit? Oh, oh, what a little rage quitter. Let's see. Come on, give me another match, man. So that way I can have some footage for the night. And so that way I can make sure to see if I got a good PC test. Because I'm just doing this to test out PC footage. So that way I can do other stuff like Super Nintendo emulators or stuff. Or can do my DOS games like Lemmings. So that way we can do classics like Lemmings. So that would be just basically probably one of my most rage-inducing playthroughs. Oh, speaking of Let's Plays, I'm going to be getting back to Jack 3 as soon as possible, too. I'm just doing this as a way to test it out. Let's see, it's a D.O. versus D.O. Toggle full screen mode, as always. Muta, muta, muta! Kondo D.O. da! So yeah, this is pretty much Eyes of Heaven, because you've got like five fucking D.O.s in that game. You got... Like, you got part one Dio, who has a different moves, and I get that. It's where he, like, freeze shit and uses vampire powers. Whereas here, and yet, part three Dio, which is this current Dio, where he mostly uses Zawaldo! You got Diego Brando, who's in part seven, which I know that's supposed to be, like, an alternate timeline. I haven't really made it that far, though. I just finished Stardust Crusader, I think, like, about two weeks ago. And I'm about to start part four, Diamond is Unbreakable. But... You got, like, alternate Diego Brando, then you got the a game's exclusive boss, the World Heaven Ascension Dio, which is supposed to be, like, which is supposed to be, like, God Dio or something. And granted, he's a boss, but it's like, you got five goddamn Dios. I mean, people may complain about, like, the occasional variation in some cases, but come on, five Dios in a game, that's a bit ridiculous. I mean, this is coming from someone who's a major fanboy of Dio, too. Oh! There we go. Oh, damn it! I was trying to escape that! <laughs> I could have escaped that! But why would you use it for one road roller, though? Like, you throw the knife and a road roller so that way you can combo into them. That's what I do with my friends sometimes when we play this in my in our college break room. Oh, some lag. Ah, great, it's lagging now. Never mind, I will win. I will not be like DSP and complain about lag. It's just kind of lag to me when fighting games are just kind of more like a slight inconvenience more than a. Oh, nice roll, dude. Nice roll out of that. That's what I want. But it wasn't enough to save you from my muda muda muda. Then I love how we this has to use the Japanese version because it gives you the blood and the gore. Oh, I'm doing arcade mode now. Is the guy gonna fight me again? Oh, did he rage quit? Did he rage quit on me? Okay, we're playing some arcade mode now. Do it seriously. That's it. Was even like on. Oh yeah, I also have the PlayStation version on an emulator. This version completely blows the PlayStation version out of the water. Probably because this one actually has some extra moves. Like, let me see if I can pull this one off. Ah, damn it, I lost our CPU. I'm gonna see if I can pull this move off. There we go. Oh well. I guess he ain't gonna fight anytime soon, so we're gonna cut cut that off.